Hey guys, this is Prabhu from Cupus. Today, let me introduce PenQ to you. So, what is PenQ? It is a security testing browser bundle built over Mozilla Firefox with a lot of tools added to it. This open source the Linux based penetration testing browser bundle. It comes pre configured with security tools for spidering, advanced web searching, fingerprinting, anonymous browsing, web server scanning, fuzzing, report generating, and lots more. PenQ is configured to run on Debian based distributions, including Ubuntu and its derivative distros, and penetration testing operating systems like Backtrack and Kali. What makes PenQ special? PenQ has a lot of features, but the focus is on security testing. Who can use PenQ? Well, anyone can use PenQ, but just be sure you know what you're doing. Don't mess up your own application. So, uh, there are a lot of features in PenQ. Is it hard to learn? No, not really. It is built on Firefox and the user interface is easy to navigate. The UI is divided into three parts. The marquee features are on the bottom panel. We have the add-on collection at the top and the tamper data on the side. So uh, let me run you through the key features of PenQ. We have most of these key features on the panel at the bottom of PenQ that is here. You would activate the panel by uh, clicking the button here or by using the shortcut key all tests. We have the Nikto web scanner here. For those who uh, don't know what a scanner is, it is an automated tool that is used to look inside the server. It gets you the uh, server specific vulnerabilities and reference files and so on. To use Nikto, we will need a URL. You could either type the URL right here in the address box here or you could fetch the current URL by clicking the fetch current URL button. Once you are done with the address to be scanned, you need to tune Nikto accordingly to your need. You could just check the uh, boxes here to tune Nikto and uh, use it. And once you are done with the tuning, all you have to do is click the submit button right here at the bottom of the panel. Once the submit button is clicked, PenQ will notify you that Nikto scan has started and the stages and the uh, results of the scan could be seen in the terminal right in front of you. Then we have a WFuzz here which is an application fuzzer. For those who don't know what fuzzing really is, it's just like looking inside a box. You really don't know what is inside the box. but you have a list in hand of all the things which might be inside the box. So uh, this is the WFS GUI here. In order to fuzz into an application, you need a URL. You could either type the URL directly in the address bar here or fetch the current URL by clicking the fetch current URL button. But to specify where to fuzz, you'll have to type down the capital F U Z Z as keyword there. Then we have to specify the payload type. Here in this case I am selecting a payload file but you could choose between a list or a range or whichever you want to. So we have the file here. Then you will have to open the actual payload uh, with which you have to first. That is a list that you have in hand. To open a payload uh, you will have to click the open payload button and uh, select a payload from the number of payloads that PenQ have. So uh, once you are done selecting the payload file type and uh, the payload, all you have to do is go ahead and click the submit button right here on the bottom of the GUI. And a PenQ will notify you that the fuzzing has started uh, by using a pop-up. The, the report will be loaded in a web page in the browser itself once the fuzzing is done. If in case you have to kill the fuzzing in midway, you could kill the uh, fuzzing by clicking the kill fuzz button on the bottom of the GUI. Then we have the uh, risk line which is an arbitrary HTTP requester. It was also available as an add-on for Mozilla Firefox. 
Then we have the notes, uh, which is a text editor. Uh, it has lots of option to format the text that is typed inside the editor. Then uh, we have the crypto box, which is used to encode or decode, encrypt, decrypt, or hash the text uh, that is typed inside the text box. Then we have the pen queue history, which shows you all the browsing data, the browsing history of your browser. Then we have the uh, SQL inject me here. It lets you test the page you are viewing for SQL injection vulnerabilities. All you have to do is load the page and uh, select the forms you have to test using the checkboxes. Then click the uh, test all forms with top attacks or with all attacks, any of these buttons. Then we have the access me here, which is the cross-site scripting vulnerability testing add-on. It is just like the SQL inject me. The only difference is that it tests for cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. Then we have the report generator here, uh, which is one of the most interesting features in PenQ. It is developed in-house. So one of the most tedious jobs in uh, doing a penetration testing is to create a well-formatted, good-looking report. But PenQ makes this job very easy. All you have to do is fill in the details in the text boxes like uh, the target site www.google.com, the target ipb.1.2.3.4 and fill in all the details like that. Then uh, you have to select the area you are testing for. That is, we have the OWASP methodology here. So all you have to do is select the checkbox of the area you are testing. Uh, select if it is vulnerable or not using the radio buttons then click on uh, the details link and add in the details in the text box that is shown like uh, it is vulnerable uh, go on filling like that uh, along with the testing all you have to do is at the end of the testing click the generate report button here and uh, PenQ will show you a well formatted colorful report which could be printed out or maybe sent to the client as an email. So uh, we are done with the PenQ panel. Now we have the add-ons collection on top of the browser. Here we have the hack search, which is an add-on from Cubus itself. The add-on is used to uh, help the security analyst to do Google hacks with ease. All the analyst has to do is browse into the web page where he have to do this Google hack and uh, select one of these hacks by clicking on the add-on here. Uh, PenQ will do the hack search for him. Then uh, we have the clear console add-on uh, which is used to clear all the data that is practically stored inside the browser that is the cookies, the history, the cache, the login details, practically any data that is stored inside the browser is cleared by using the clear console add-on. This add-on was the Mozilla pick of the month, uh, March 2013. Then we have the email extractor, which is an add-on used to harvest all the emails that is inside the page body uh, of the page which is currently loaded. Some people may find it funny to find a monkey face on a browser. This is the grease monkey add-on right here, which is a finger printer. So you all know what is uh, special about a fingerprint. It gives you the identity of what you're looking for. For in this case, it's the page. All you have to do to fingerprint the page is uh, click the grease monkey add-on here. That is a monkey face. and. Uh, reload the page and wait for the page to reload. Once the page is loaded, you would see a blue palm print on the right side top of the browser. You have to click the palm print and the fingerprint will be shown before you. The fingerprint will contain everything about the page. That is the URL you are looking into, the server header, the cookies in the page, then we have the first serve and the first serve links then we have the form data in the page, the recon tool, the script source, that is the external script that is referred into the page, 
then we have the custom js object in the page then we have the custom js variables and we have a, a facility to execute the javascript functions inside the page to turn off the finger printer all you have to do is turn off the monkey face by clicking the add on and just reload the page then we have few more features on the top of the panel we have uh, the chat add on here the sqlite manager the links button the fire ftp fire ssh etc uh, then we have the intercepting proxies here that is the obasp sap and the obasp web scanner for those who don't know what an intercepting proxy is it is the man in the middle between a browser and a server the intercepting proxy it could see every conversation that passes between the browser and the server then we have several other system utilities uh, that could be accessed we have a screenshot we have a g edit access to g edit from here the terminal is here the system load the system monitor the scheduler and lot of other features the idea is that the analyst he doesn't have to navigate out of the pen cube window to get hold of one of these system utilities there's more to pen cube than what i've just explained now but explaining everything in detail is a lot of time which we don't have now so i would suggest you guys go and explore pen cube yourself but remember with great power comes great responsibility and you are responsible for whatever you do don't mess up your own application so download pencube install it and play with it be safe and responsible thank you for watching we hope you found this webcast useful bye